Good evening, hello. Welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. On the track tonight for my last track session before Outlaw Half. I am going to be at the track a couple of times before Outlaw, but only doing little taper sessions. So I'm counting this as the last sort of tough training session. Um, I've probably clickbaited in the title or some sort of thing about an event I've entered. So if I was a proper YouTuber, I'd hold on to the end of the video and drag it out throughout. But I'm not, so I'll tell you now. And I'm excited. Um, so I've entered my first Ironman branded half Ironman distance race. And that is a Cork 70.3 in Ireland in August of next year. It's three weeks before Wales, so it should be a nice little training race or something like that, I don't know. More than anything, it looks great, and tri -Sight is down to do the full thing, no so. <laughs> tri is down to do the full thing, so I thought, why not? Today before the full race. Good evening, Jan. How are you feeling? Jan. Every oh, nice t-shirt. I got the memo, I got the memo. After the video I put from you the other night, have I been un inundated with questions? Get Jan back on the channel. We want to hear more about his 33, 20 minute, whatever it is, <laughs> 10K, whatever. What session tonight do we know yet or not? I have no idea. Oh, it's um, yeah, all over the place. But I'm just telling, it. just telling subscribers that I've entered Cork 70.3 half hour distance next year. I don't know. I thought, well, if COVID's still a thing, you can drive to Ireland, can't you go on a ferry? That's it. But I thought it'd be simple. Actually, after I looked into it, the ferry takes seven and a half hours and it's 400 quid. Is that what? Mr. Brownlee doing it again? Oh, well, he, he will do after I've entered it. Yeah, yeah I was no going to say, that's the only reason you do events, because it's to exactly. race him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're good to get a long weekend away and I've never been to Ireland, so it should be, should be cool. Let me know down below if you're doing it or if you're thinking of doing it. I think it's the same course as the Ironman course, just half. Don't start getting smart. I know it's half of an Ironman distance, but it is actually the same course, just less laps. Anyway, let's get running. I'm not even tying my lace up. That's how much I don't care about running with you. <laughs> so the session is pretty much the same as it did on Tuesday, but with shorter recoveries. Obviously, with a different group, so they haven't done 1Ks. So six 1Ks of 200 drug recovery. We're just on the first two. 345, 340. Perhaps going off a bit hard, but we'll see how we go. Four to go. Go on, Scott. 339, 342. These last two are going to be steadier because, man, that's hard. It's a fair bit cooler tonight, though, so should be a bit quicker, really. Come on, guys. Last two are 3.42 and 3.44, so a fair bit quicker than Tuesday. Really happy with that. It is a fair bit cooler, but even still, if anything, I should be more tired tonight than I was on Tuesday. So, yeah, cheers to Dan for the Super 6 slow mo. If I've dropped that in already, cheers for that. Yeah, good workout. Let's get warm down done. There we go then. Emotional goodbye in the car park. 7.2 miles. Good track session. I'm so happy to be a few seconds quicker than, than on Tuesday. It just shows what a bit of difference in temperature makes. Um, I did really well today as well because I thought about getting on the bike at lunchtime for an extra little bike session, but I resisted. No to panic training. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below. Let me know if you're going to be in Cork next year. And I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm.